What we found um, in our, our cohort of, of older uh, men with cerebral prostate cancer, and we looked at um, 17,468 men who had been diagnosed by 2,613 urologists, um, that, you know, as expected, uh, the majority of these men, although they were candidates for observation based on the characters of their favorable cancer, uh, that they received upfront treatment with 85% receiving upfront treatment and only 15% received observation. Um, and uh, we found that uh, the diagnosing neurologist was the most influential uh, measured factor kind of driving treatment and that the variance in treatment choice attributable to the urologist was twice that attributable to patient factors. Um, and we postulate that this is because the diagnosing neurologist has the first conversation with the patient with regards to the severity of the cancer or the management options. And importantly, they also refer the patient to other physicians for discussions. So maybe in part from the first discussion, maybe in part to kind of referral um, patterns. Um, we saw that uh, uh, practice environment uh, seemed to influence the use of, of observation, and the urologists who practiced in a hospital setting uh, were more likely to use observation. Similar to other studies, we did see that um, older men, men with more comorbid medical illnesses, were more likely to be treated with observation. But you know, notably, uh, you know, two thirds of the men uh, greater than age 80 uh, were. Uh, more likely to be uh, uh, to still actually two thirds of men greater than age 80 still received definitive treatment even though they had very limited uh, life expectancy.